हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एज योर वाला यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर इन पार्ट 100 हंड्रेड ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सर्टिफाइड एसोसिएट सीरीज सो फार वी हैव कंप्लीटेड 172 हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी टू क्वेश्चन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी थ्री एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फोर क्वेश्चन वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी थ्री यू प्लान टू क्रिएट द एज योर वेब एप्स शोन इन द फॉलोइंग टेबल Web app one is a .NET Core three point one application. Web app two is a ASP .NET version four point eight application. Web app three is a PHP application, and Web app four is a Ruby two point six application. What is the minimum number of app service plans you should create for the web apps? App service plan defines. a set of computer resources for a web app to run and it may have either windows operating system or linux operating system let's go to learn.microsoft.com to understand it better we are on app service overview page of the learn.microsoft.com we'll scroll down and we are at the end of the page and we can see here asp.net core can work on windows operating system and linux operating system asp.net application can work only and only with windows operating system php application can work on windows or linux ruby can work on linux therefore there are some applications in our question like ruby can work on linux only as well as asp.net can work on windows only therefore two separate app service plans are needed one with the linux where we can host asp.net core uh, php and ruby application and one with windows operating system where we can host asp.net application let's go back to question therefore dotnet core application supports windows operating system as well as linux operating system it can work on any of these operating system web app 2 asp.net version 4.8 supports only and only windows operating system it cannot work on linux operating system web app 3 php application can work on windows or linux as well so it support both operating system web app 4 ruby 2.6 can work only and only with the linux operating system therefore we can run web application 1 on linux we can run web application 3 on linux and we can run web application 4 in linux having one app service plan web application 2 cannot run on linux therefore it requires windows operating system hence we need two app service plans one with the linux operating system another one with the windows operating system therefore option b 2 is the correct answer let's move to next question question 174 you have is your subscription named subscription 1 and subscription 2 Subscription one has following resource groups. RG one is in West Europe region and lock type is none. RG two is in West Europe and it has lock implemented, which is read only. It will not allow to add anything in this resource group. RG one includes a web app named App One in the West Europe location. Subscription two contains the following resource groups. RG three is in East Europe region. A delete lock type is implemented to it. RG four is hosted in Central US location, and it has no lock implemented. For each of the following statement, select yes if the statement is true. Otherwise, select no. Statement one: F one can be moved to RG two. means it is the movement from rg1 to rg2 it is within the subscription 1 only can we do it or no 
f1 can be moved to rg3 which is from the subscription 1 to subscription 2 we need to check if we can do that or not and f1 can be moved to rg4 which is again in the subscription 2 so we need to check about that let's go to learn.microsoft.com we are on move an app service resource to another region page and we'll scroll down app service resources are region specific and can't be moved across regions therefore we cannot move uh, app service from one region to another region but we can move the app service within the same region next is move an app service resources to new resource group or subscription we will scroll down this article describes the step to move app service resources between resource groups or azure subscriptions therefore it is possible to move the application from one subscription to another subscription next is lock your resources to protect your infrastructure we will scroll down we will discuss read only lock it means authorized user can read a resource but they can't delete or update it applying this lock is similar to restricting all authorized users to the permissions that the reader role provides therefore if the read only lock is implemented on a resource group we cannot write anything under that resource group add any resource to that resource group let's go back to question therefore for the statement one the answer would be no because region are the same for both the resource group but resource group 2 has read only log therefore answer is no for statement 2 f1 can be moved to rg3 yes we can move the f1 to rg3 however it has delete log type which will prevent us to delete any resource uh, in the rg3 but it will not stop us to creating or importing any new resource in rg3 statement 3 f1 can be moved to rg4 yes we can move the application from one subscription to another therefore the answer for this would be yes i hope this video was informative for you please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification icon thank you for watching this video see you in next video